Hey, what's going on everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Small Soldiers, set of 12 wonderful looking movie toys released by Burger King back in 1998. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set we have Chip Hazard and his ginormous elongated arms. <laughs> they look kind of like uh, Popeye. So you can rotate his arms all the way around and wiggle his legs back and forth. Anything at the waist? Nope. And you can rotate the head so it's got some pretty good articulation it's actually a well-built solid toy for a kids meal toy and the gimmick is on the back here you flip this right here you push this up and it reveals his little chest and unfortunately the batteries have expired it's supposed to light up but as expected toy being over 20 years old <laughs> the batteries are dead so you can't replace them I don't see how you can replace them so they're just kind of built right in there and that is it it's just a basic little semi articulated mini soldier action figure that has some some issues standing but he's still cool <laughs> if you can get him to stand and let's see if we can get him to stand there you go so there you go it's chip hazard up next in the set is freedom firing archer and archer is the leader of the gorgonites so if you remember the movie if you watch it the gorgonites are the creature alien things that come to life and this guy is awesome looking. He's got this giant bow on his arm. He's got a shield over here. So you can rotate his arms around. You can rotate his head. And you can rotate him at the waist. And this is the gimmick here, which is supposed to light up. But the batteries have, have since expired. So you plug this little arrow in, which is attached to a string so you don't lose it. Plug this in and kind of shoot it. <laughs> Doesn't really want to work all that well. But you get the idea. Let's see. We'll hold the button in and we'll, just, we'll see if we can do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so for some reason, the locking mechanism in there doesn't want to hold that in. But that's okay. It's still a cool looking toy. And there you go. It's Freedom Firing Archer. Next up in the set is Nick Nitro and his giant head. <laughs> Look at that smile. It's huge. And he has a cool looking mohawk. And let's see. So you can rotate his arms around. His legs wiggle back and forth, and you can swivel his head from side to side if you'd like. And the gimmick is on the back. <laughs> Get back over here, come on. So that's part of the gimmick. So you hold him right here in the backpack, and you pull this apart like this, and a little string, you pull that, and <laughs> his body parts fall off. Let's see. So his arms and legs are supposed to come off, <laughs> but for some reason, it just doesn't work properly. <laughs> and let's see. So... There's a little mechanism in there that's supposed to help pop these arms and legs off. So the legs fell off. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so this is a spring-loaded, stringy backpack thingy. So the arms don't come off the way they should. But that's okay. And when you're done, put the backpack peg back on there. Grab his legs. <laughs> put his legs back on. Let's see. It's just like this one here. And we'll get this one back on. <laughs> so the legs definitely work. Let's see. There we go. Oh, lots of fun. So there you go. A malfunctioning McNitro. Next up is the Laughing Insaniac. Insaniac. <laughs> Look at this guy, right? That is the creepiest, weirdest looking goofy guy I've seen in a long time. <laughs> but he looks awesome. And you can see some holes on the back here. And that's part of the gimmick. So you rotate this arm right here. And here, have a listen. So he makes this like... I don't even know, like a laughing, screeching sound? I don't know what to make of that. It sounds kind of neat. And I guess that's just how he uh, he laughs or whatnot. You can rotate this arm up and down, and you can swivel the head back and forth. And, of course, the legs move back and forth as well. It's kind of pre-posed, though, for him to stand. So you kind of have to fiddle with it. And let's see if we get him to stand. And there you go. Yeah, this guy is awesome looking and kind of creepy. So there you go. It's the Laughing Insaniac. Next, we have Morning Break Brick Bazooka. Morning Break Brick Bazooka. <laughs> so one of the soldiers has made a vehicle out of a toaster. And you can see some pastries in there. And an egg beater, which rotates with the wheels here in the front. So what you do is you push this in here, watch the wheels. You push in the pastries into the toaster and watch the wheels. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And so what you do is you set it down here, 
give it a push and let it go. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> this is great. We'll let it do we'll do it one more time. And so you can see as it pushes along, the front rotates the wheels too here, and the egg beater spins as well. So this is really kind of cool when you got the little soldier sitting on the side here operating the toaster egg beater mobile. This is <laughs> this is different but fun all at the same time. So there you go, it's the morning break brick bazooka. Up next <laughs> is Boulder Blasting Punch It and Scratch It. So I'm gonna guess this is Punch It, which <laughs> looks awesome, and this is Scratch It, probably, because it has the claws, so he's gonna scratch. I don't know, what do you think that is? It's like a mix of a rhino, and I'm not exactly sure, but he looks awesome, all decked out with chains and armor and stuff. And then this guy, I'm not even sure, maybe something out of Monsters Incorporated, weird looking legs, no arms. Big giant teeth and it comes with a little boulder and you can see this little tab right here plugs into his mouth you kind of just rest that there and that is the gimmick with this one you pull him back and <laughs> he's supposed to shoot it doesn't lock in so you kind of just have to rest it there and you launch it <laughs> and it's not working right let's see if we can flip it around and see if that helps so we'll plug it in that way and you're supposed to launch it like that. There we go. Finally, so maybe I pushed it in there a little too hard. Let's let's do a little bit lighter this time. And there we go. Oh, that's better. So you have you have punch it launching the brick boulder and scratch it kind of just like stands there and holds them up on his shoulders. Get some more launching distance. So there you go. It's the boulder blasting punch it and scratch it. Next up in the set is Rip Roaring Kip Killigan. Rip Roaring Kip Killigan riding this really awesome looking motorcycle. I'll tell you, I'm not sure what to make of it, but it's awfully heavy and it's really solid and it looks great. So this guy does not come off. He's kind of just kind of molded to the motorbike. But the gimmick is on the back here, you can see this little wheel and it's, it's heavy and it has like a rubber piece that goes all the way around. And you pull this right here and it's a string and you give this a rip and the wheel spins so obviously the, the faster you rip this and pull this the faster the wheel goes so let's give it a try you ready oh come on you can do better than that there rip roar and kip killigan oh there we go <laughs> much better and one more time whoa he took right off get back over here this is awesome so there you go, it's Rip Roaring Kip Killigan. And next up in the set is the Soft and Cuddly Slam Fist. And Soft and Cuddly he is. It's a little mini plush figure. And there is his Slam Fist, strapped with some leather straps, I'm guessing. And there really is no gimmick. He's just a little collectible mini soft and squishy plushy, like a little mini pillow. And that is it for this guy. So that is Soft and Cuddly Slam Fist. Awesome. And up next in the set is Butch's Battle. So you can see Butch here, who's the soldier, fighting Frankenstein. It's supposed to be Frankenstein. Frankenstein's got like a wooden club arm, some gears up here. It looks kind of menacing. A little foot and his toe sticking out there. And underneath here we have some wheels. And on the side here you have a wind-up little arm here. So what we do is you wind this up. See that wound up nice and tight. Just like this. Don't want to wind it too tight. There we go. And watch this. His legs and arms are flailing. And then you set him down and watch this. Come back over here. Come back over here. Come on. Come on, Butch. <laughs> so his arms and legs are flailing around. He's rolling around. They're having a fight, duking it out. And you can rotate his head to the side if you like. And that's about it. The wheels are rolling along. Very cool. I like this one. Butch's Battle. Next up, we have Crawling Link Static. So we have Link Static, he's a little soldier guy, on his hands and knees here, on his elbows, with his binoculars doing some, oh, I don't know, recon, I don't know, spying on the Gorgonites. And he has a little backpack right here. You can open this up and store Maybe a few little tiny things in there and hide them in there. And on the side here, that's the gimmick. You wind them up just like this here. Get it wound up nice and tight. And check this out. You ready? That's kind of cool. 
kind of like sneaking around, crawling around, kind of doing some tactical spying or whatever. <laughs> and that's it. That's the gimmick. So there you go. It's the Crawling Link Static. Next up, we have the Bobbling Insaniac. So we get the Insaniac again because he's so awesome to look at. Looks like he's got some chains on there. He's got his big toes, got some uncut toenails. <laughs> so you can move his legs around a little bit and then you can rotate this arm. We'll move the head. You can rotate this arm up and down. And you can see the hole right there. That's part of the gimmick because it comes with this little cool base with some wheels. So what you do is you carefully plug this on like this, get it on there nice and secure, and then you can position him however you want. And once you get him on there, you roll this back and forth, and he kind of spins around and acts all crazy. <laughs> so you want to stand him up there like this here, and then <laughs> spin the wheels back and forth on the base. And he's like crazy bobbling and wacky and flipping and spinning. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this guy. He's so silly looking. So there you go. It's the bobbling Insaniac. And last up in the set is the Levitating Lens Ocula. Levitating Lens Ocula. Look at how creepy that is. But yet it puts a smile on my face because it's so silly. The eyeball kind of looks like it's following you around. Creepy. So he has like three arms or legs if you want. You can call them arms or legs. And there are suction cups on the bottom of each limb. So you can stick them on a window, on the table, or whatever you'd like in a car window while you're cruising along. You can like hang out with you. And inside, it's like soft plastic rubber. So inside there are metal little pieces in there to help you mold and form the, the neck and the arms and the legs, whatever position you want. So you can kind of bend them like this and bend this head up and kind of shape it like this here. And we'll get the back one straightened out. And it kind of looks like he's crawling and now they're like legs. Let's see if we, we can get them to stand. And let's see, we'll bend this one forward a little bit and bend this one forward a little bit. There we go, that's not too bad. You, you, you know, use your imagination and have a good time with them. You can bend them and pose them however you like. So there you go. It's the Levitating Lens Ocula. So there you have it, everyone. Small Soldiers, set of 12 wonderful little movie toys released by Burger King back in 1998. Wow, this is such a great set. I think you would agree. There's just lots to do, lots of fun to be had with this set for sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh.